Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my Battlefront World Cup analysis video. Uh, this uh, video idea was brought by brought to my attention by Aiden uh, last night actually, and I'm already recording it because I thought it was such a great idea. I will be streaming the tournament uh, as it happens. Um, however, this is this video is sort of just to give people who don't know uh, an understanding of the teams involved, uh, and it will be relatively long. This video will feature, um, it'll feature a power ranking. I will go through all the teams, uh, and you can obviously skip to certain parts of the video if you'd like. I probably won't edit it, but we'll see maybe a little bit because I'm not like the most well-spoken person ever. But um, another thing I want to say is that this is biased, it is my opinion. Um, so just remember that as we go through. And let's begin by looking at the participating teams. We have Oceania, France, Germany, the US, Poland, Czech Republic, Hungary, the UK, Russia and Switzerland, and Scandinavia and Netherlands. So these are all the teams, 10 of them, and we're going to start with Oceania. Now this team is a relatively unknown variable. Um, most of these players I'm personally not familiar with, and I would imagine um, Many aren't. Uh, they haven't been seen competing in any recent tournaments or past tournaments. Um, the only player that does stand out is Raven, who's been uh, an active community member for a very long time. However, you know, he hasn't really proven himself in a tournament setting, um, and, you know, none of them have. So again, this is a pretty unknown team, and I would definitely put them on the lower end of the spectrum when it comes to um, you know, power ratings, basically. Uh, so, you know, I hope to see good things from them, but I somewhat doubt that we'll see them even getting out of the group stage. Um, but again, hopefully they do well. Uh, the next team here I can talk a little bit more about. Uh, France, at the moment, the way I see France, based on the players that they're fielding, um, they're arguably the strongest team uh, that's going to be playing in the World Cup. They have uh, players like Tetschke, Darwad, Patan, Takeo, and Jon Snow. I'm not familiar with Heavy, uh, but the most likely lineup for France in at least their playoff matches, I imagine they'll get to playoffs. Their most likely lineup will be Tetschke, um, Patan, Takeo, Jon Snow. However, Darwad is also a very strong player, and I haven't seen him compete as much as I would like to. Uh, so hopefully he gets some play time there. But uh, definitely, Tetschke is a player to watch. He may get MVP for this tournament, and he has, I believe, gotten MVP in tournaments in the past, unless Howdy and Aiden prevented that from him. He's, to many people, he's seen as the third best player in the world, if not second. Um, and then Patan, Takeo, Jon Snow, all of them have plenty of tournament experience, have shown really good results, lots of pugging. I definitely think that we'll see good things from all of them. Uh, Patan, obviously a great cycler. Uh, I would definitely think that this team will be a top contender, if not my top pick, to win. Now, the Czech Republic is a team that I would like to see you know, some action from Philly, pretty well-known community member uh, and a very strong player with uh, plenty of tournament experience. However, Just Kea, Thurn plays, John Stalker, and Dara Malor, sorry if I'm butchering your names, but I really don't, I don't, I haven't seen them play in tournaments. Uh, this is kind of like a recurring theme with some of these teams. You haven't seen them play a lot. There's not much to go off and, um, if you know, if you haven't seen them play in tournaments in the past, and there's no reason to say that um, they'll be strong, but you know what, they might be. You never know. Um, but definitely the Czech Republic on the lower end um, of the teams participating. Uh, but yeah, Philly definitely a player to look out for from the Czech Republic. Now Hungary, uh, they basically only stand out because of Atya. Atya's been in the community for a long time, among the strongest players. For a while, um, Atya 
was basically carrying his team, Navi. They obviously had other strong players, but statistic, like, his numbers were just way higher than the rest of his team. So Hungary is definitely on the high end of the, you know, challenger teams, not top tier, but they could upset if uh, Espada and Achia kind of pop off, because I know I've seen Espada in past tournaments. He can play very well. Um, however, um, does not have nearly as much experience as some of the players in the other teams, but hopefully we see good things from him. I don't know much about the other players on the lineup. However, I I hope, sorry, um, they are, I've seen R2-D2, and he seems like a relatively strong player, um, but again, I don't see them competing for that top spot. Uh, however, they could deliver some upsets. Scandinavia and Netherlands, definitely one of the best teams in the tournament, mostly because they have Howdy and Trout. Both of those players, extremely strong. Howdy, arguably the second best player in the world. Great all-around player. Doesn't use a mic, but it doesn't matter because he's just a fucking beast and kicks ass. It's kind of unfair, but whatever. Bram also, plenty of tournament experience. Now, the Jedi players um, have not been able to do anything in tournaments in the past. You know, they haven't been able to get to playoffs. They maybe made one or two, if I can remember. Um, but, yeah, the Jedi players definitely have a lot to prove. Don't know who Trickster is, uh, but apparently he's a bot, so. <laughs> but we don't know. So, these guys, if Howdy and Trout and Bram can, you know, pop off, then definitely, you know, one of the top four teams in this tournament. Um, again, I'll go through the power rankings at the end. The United Kingdom, uh, the main variable for the UK is Starlita. Starlita is, again, one of the best players um, in the community. Obviously, it's a small community now, uh, even smaller since Vardy Gate. But um, Starlita, R3, and Paige are going to be very important to this team. R3 and Paige have not participated in nearly as many competitions as Starlita, and Starlita will definitely have to take up a sort of leadership role on the team. However, he doesn't use a mic, so that may be something of concern where they, you know, they don't really have that sort of uh, leadership side to it, but again, it just really depends on whether or not Starlead is going to do well. They are on the high end of teams um, when it comes to challengers, but I would argue they're right around Hungary's level, maybe slightly better because of Page, SP, and R3, but I'm not as familiar with Hungary's lineup, so... Uh, it'll be interesting to see where they end up, and I think Starlita could be a contender for MVP. However, it, I doubt the UK is going to win. So Now we go to the United States. This team, obviously, um, everyone would agree, one of the top teams to win this tournament. Very familiar community members, especially to me, because obviously I'm from the US, and some of these guys were on my X team well, not X team. I'm still running it. Whatever. Um, McGee, Benny, Aiden, Jamals is the most likely top lineup for that team. Um, Jamals is uh, has been playing for a very long time and has very strong abilities. However, um, over the past few years, been relatively inconsistent when it comes to strong players and to many hasn't been considered among the best. However, he can pop off sometimes, and if he pops off during the World Cup, that's got to be huge for the U.S., and it might let them tip the tables against teams like France, Germany, and Scandinavia. Aiden, obviously the best player in the world. He's going to play amazing. He always does. Uh, there's a clip of me online going off about him. I don't really need to say much about him he can carry any team. But this team doesn't really need to be carried because they have McGee, Benny, uh, Park, and Warda, both very experienced. Recon and Ares, not the strongest players, 
but they have improved a lot over the past few years and could have a good showing if they get some play time. Um, however, in the playoffs, it's more than likely they don't see play time and you get the core four playing. So Germany, uh, Germany will be a top contender. Um, they have Johnny, Daco, Jordan Soap, Okanitis. I'm not familiar with Janik and Horsty, but Johnny is has had a huge rise in skill level. Really impressive pug player, especially. I just nail cycler shots. It drives me insane when I play against him. Daco is one of the most active and um, one of the longest standing community members and has tons of experience in tournaments and will be a great, great addition to this team. Jordan has also seen a huge improvement, uh, similar to Johnny. And then there's obviously Soap, a uh, former Araxium player, super, super strong, um, definitely can help bring this team to the next level. I had a really hard time deciding where to put Germany because um, they have really strong players. But when I look at teams like the US and France, I'm not sure whether or not they can turn the tables just based on their skill. So hopefully they can bring, you know, certain strats or something different to the table because I think, you know, man to man, Germany would might fall to the likes of France and the US. But um, I think they can really be a top contender. It'll be interesting to see. Poland, um, this team is going to be under a huge microscope because of the whole Vardy gate, blah, blah, blah. It was a freaking mess. Um, but Neptune's been around a while. He's competing in a lot of tournaments. Biel has competed a bunch. Um, however, I don't see this team being a contender for the number one spot. They've lost a few really skilled players that could have brought a lot to the team because of the whole Chanik thing uh, and them competing in other tournaments, whatever. But this team has a lot to prove if they want to get anywhere because they have missed out on a lot of talent um, recently. <laughs> So, just to summarize all the teams, uh, my top contenders for the tournament is France, USA, Germany, Scandinavia, and Netherlands. France, obviously, on there because of, uh, you know, Techki and uh, a few other just excellent players. The United States, strong lineup, same with Germany and Scandinavia and Netherlands. And then... I named the kind of lower end teams challengers, uh, obviously Oceania, an unknown variable, most likely not going to perform well, but, you know, might see something surprising. Uh, and then Poland, Czech Republic, Hungary, UK, and Russia, um, and Switzerland. You know, they, I don't see them winning this tournament, to be perfectly honest with you. I think the top contenders are just going to dominate um, the playoffs. So here are my power rankings. France, I put number one uh, sort of tentatively next to the United States. I haven't been super up with all of the players, um, but I see France being a really strong cargo team with the U.S. being a strong drop zone team. Um, I, the France and United States, you could flip-flop, but for the sake of this, I put France at number one. Scandinavia and Netherlands, I put above Germany purely because Howdy is on Scandinavia and Netherlands. Um, again, the top four in these power rankings, pretty tentative. Uh, you can flip-flop, and obviously you guys can disagree with me because um, this is just one person's opinion, and I also am not even 100% sure about the top four there. They're all very strong, and they could all end up winning. The UK, I had at number five, um, because they do have some strong players. Starlita going to be, obviously, a key point. Talked about him before. Um, definitely a stronger lineup than any of the ones below them. 
However, the gap between Germany and the UK is pretty huge. And that is the reason why I think, you know, the bottom six will have a really hard time beating any of those top teams. Um, and then we have Hungary at number six, Acia being a key point for Hungary. They will need their other players to step up if they want to compete with the top tier teams. However, I did say they could be a surprising team alongside the UK. Um, the Czech Republic, relatively weak lineup, um, could could come up with some surprises, but Poland, Russia, and Oceania, um, Russia and Switzerland, Poland, Russia, and Switzerland, and Oceania, definitely on the weaker side of things. I would like to see good things from them, but I don't expect it. So, uh, yeah, so that's my video. That's my analysis of the tournament, looking at all the teams. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.